Butternut squash is one of those vegetables that's becoming more and more available, um, even it's the main mainstream grocery store. If you have had a garden of your own and grown these, you know that they are very prolific and they have great keeping qualities. They, they store very well. And it's classified as a winter squash, which means that after it's picked, the quality of the squash improves with storage. Rather than going downhill, it's improving. So this is a wonderful kind of a keeper. You can, if you uh, stop by a, a fruit stand and see a special on them, pick up several. Keep them in a cool place, as cool as you can get without freezing the, the little guys. And you can keep these things for three or four months. Now, when you're picking out a, a butternut squash, look for the ones with a very wide, long neck, because that's where the meat is. That's where the, the flesh that you're most interested in will be found. Now, let me use my good, strong knife here and cut into it. You can see, look at that neck, lots of good, lots of good uh, fruit there. Let me cut this again. Again, you want a knife that is sturdy, that is strong, scattering seeds around here. Where's my spoon? Here we go. We'll scoop out the seeds from the cavity, and you're ready to go. This, this one is ready at this point to um, get roasted. Roast them in nice long slivers like that. This is also, if you wanted to cut up your, your butternut squash and cube it, you want to get that peel off because the peel never softens. <laughs> it's very woody, very woody. There's no amount of cooking that's going to make that soft. So you're going to want to peel off the skin. And when you have the squash in slices like this, is the easiest way to peel a butternut squash. I've tried doing it whole, and let me tell you, <laughs> don't try it. Save yourself the grief. So here you have one that's been peeled. I'm going to cut again. Get my peels out of the way and show you how easy this is to come up with little cubes. Now these little cubes I like to have. There's a Moroccan stew that I make that I love it in. There are a number of soups and stews that call for cubed winter squash. Butternut in particular. Look at that color. It's just so gorgeous. And it keeps its color as it cooks. I'm going to add this to some I already have cubed and roast them later. Now in the cubes, if you for some reason wanted to freeze these, winter squash in, in my book is not worth freezing because it keeps so well, why would you, why would you bother? But if you have just a bounty of, of butternut squash and you want to keep it in cubes and you want the convenience of being able to pull those bags out later to drop in soup, here's the way to do it. Bring a big pot of water to boiling and drop these cubes into the boiling water for three minutes. Four minutes if you live at 5,000 foot elevation or above. At the end of those three minutes or four minutes, you pull them out and drop these cubes into an ice bath. You want to uh, chill them quickly. Then you're going to drain them and put them out on cookie sheets, single, single file cookie sheet, and stick them in the freezer. Let them firm up, uh, freeze up, and then put them in, in freezer containers. They'll stay loose. Um, very usable, and if you've got the freezer room and you've got the time, this might be exactly what you want to do with these little guys. So butternut squash, it's abundant, it's healthy, it's delicious, and gosh, we use it in just a lot of recipes. So now you know when you go to the store how to get the most for your money.